Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to have another application of definite integration. It's the finding, uh, it's finding the arc length of a curve. So the, the, the curve provided to us is y equals uh, uh, ln x. This is one of the basic functions that we dealt with in Calc 1 over and over. And, and we're considering the interval uh, 1 and 5. Uh, first, we're going to sketch the graph. So for that reason, have your graphing calculator uh, ready. And, and next, we're going to write down the integral corresponding to the arc length of uh, the graph on the, on the given interval. And eventually, we're going to try to approximate that area by using uh, uh, our calculator. So uh, before we hit the road, I want to show you uh, the formulas that we're going to use along the way, maybe one of them uh, for this case, because uh, there are two formulas uh, for arc length, one for, uh, one for the function written in terms of uh, uh, in terms of x, so y, in other words, the, the, the function is written in terms of x, and in, in the other one, uh, uh, the function is written in terms of y, so we have x equals g of y type representation. So for that reason, the top formula depends on x, so we have dx over there, and the bottom formula depends on dy, uh, y, and then that's why we have dy in the formulation. And and for our uh, case in the, in the problem, we have y equals l and x, we are in the in the first formula case because y equals uh, f of x representation of the curve uh, provided to us. And let me also show you um, the graph here and, and as you see that we have the curve, uh, we're, we're interested in the part stuck in between x equals 1 and x equals 5 and we're going to find the arc length. What, what that means is like assume like uh, the, the, there is a rope uh, clamped at x equals 1 and you're considering only the length uh, up to right here, x equals 5, and you're trying to find the length of the rope by uh, by using integration. Okay, so I don't want to give you more heads up at this moment. Please watch the rest of the video, um, and let's get started. All right, let's start. So um, why don't you go ahead and uh, sketch the graph of y equals ln x uh, in your graphing calculator, and, and you can take your x min uh, to be 1 and x max to be 5, but if you want to get a bigger picture of that, you can sort of like lower your x min and upper your, uh, uh, make the upper uh, uh, limit, which is x max, to be a little bit greater than 5, okay? And, and don't forget that ln function uh, has the domain uh, open interval 0 infinity, so you can't talk about uh, the negative values of the function, uh, for negative values of x for this function uh, to input. Okay, so you should be able to get a, a graph like this, and you can pause the video at any moment and compare yours to what I got here. So we're talking about the interval uh, 1 and 5, so here we go, the interval 1 and 5. Okay, so this is the part of the curve stuck in between 1 and 5, and the question is asking, what is the arc length here? Okay, what is the length of this piece here? Or what is the length of this arc here? Okay. So I'm going to take you back to uh, the definition of uh, arc length and, and all we need to stare at in this formula is how the function uh, is defined and, and how we're going to or decide which formula we're going to use based on that. So in our case, uh, the function is defined as ln x. So this is in fact y equals f of x types type representation uh, of the curve. So we are in fact, uh, we are staring at, at this formula and here uh, we have a and b, so in our case a equals 1 and b equals 5, so this is the interval provided to us. And all we're going to do is to uh, evaluate the definite integral uh, from 1 to 5, uh, radical 1 plus f prime squared dx. So all we need is to look at, uh, look at f prime of x, okay? So let's go ahead and then uh, do the calculations here. So little s, uh, let me just correct this, little s, okay, is equal to the integral from, uh, uh, the integral from uh, 1 to 5, okay, radical, 1 plus, this is our f of x, obviously, as I mentioned, right, 1 plus f prime uh, of x squared dx, okay, so let me just write it, but we need f prime here, well, ln x, if you go back to the, uh, derivatives formula card, ln x has the derivative uh, 1 over x, okay? So I can go back here and change this to uh, 1 over x quantity uh, squared, okay? 
All right, so uh, all I'm going to do now is just to simplify this, okay? I'm going to go from 1 to 5, um, 1 plus 1 over x squared dx. Uh, and I go uh, from 1 to 5. Uh, let's just simplify this more. So this is x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared. So instead of 1 uh, in the sum, I wrote x squared over x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared. But that is also written as x squared plus 1 over x squared, okay? So, uh, well, at this moment, uh, the unfortunate news is that you cannot directly uh, evaluate this integral uh, by the techniques that you have already learned in calculus. So you need to approximate this integral because, in fact, uh, that's what is written in the description in the, in the, in the and the third sub-question here, uh, so look at the statement. Use the integrating uh, capabilities of a graphing utility to approximate the arc length. So go ahead and then use your uh, calculators uh, approximating, uh, uh, approximating uh, feature for integrals and, and get, the, uh, get the value of this integral uh, to be 4 point three six seven I just kept the three decimal uh, places here okay and here there's a good resources for uh, numerical integration uh, let me just scroll through that and, and in this particular case uh, uh, this this integral here uh, two times uh, the integral from 0 to power 4 sine x dx is being calculated and and, and that's exactly what you should do with your TA-83 or 84. And you can also Google uh, uh, TA-83, 84 numerical uh, integration, and then you would, you would be able to see a lot of links uh, coming along with that, okay? All right, I think uh, that's pretty much uh, what it is. And numerically, uh, we got uh, the arc length to be like 4.367, and, and that's exactly what we're gonna place it in here. 4.367 okay all right thanks for watching this is the end of the video i'll see you in another video bye